Hey, what's up guys, Dan here, welcome to a new fee 14 Squad Builder. Before we even get started, if we could get this video to 100 likes, that'd be brilliant, I'd appreciate it a lot. And this squad I've got for you today is a nice 160,000 coin free league mix, which I scored quite a few goals with it. The front three are deadly, and I like the formation a lot actually, I've used it a couple of times on FIFA already, and I was quite pleased with it, it's very counter attacking, so I think you'll like it. And we get this squad underway with a bang, in goal I used Neuer, I think this is like like the first or second time I've used him on FIFA 14 and he is actually the best keeper on FIFA 14 and that is my opinion but a, a lot of other people think that as well because he's got 85 diving, 82 handling, 91 kicking and 87 reflexes. I liked his reflex saves a lot, he seemed to get up really quickly and you have to pay 50,000 coins for him so if you've got some money in a bank why not break it and just pay for him, he's like the best keeper on FIFA 14, he'll keep you in games and overall a really good keeper. Moving on to the defence now, we've got Boateng in a centre back position. He's got 75 pace, 72 passing and 67 dribbling. I liked his heading a lot and he's a solid player overall. He makes really good t challenges and he, he overall really good at tackling. In the next to him I use um, Bonera. He was for chemistry reasons as well but he's not actually a bad centre back. Even though his car looks quite bad he's still got 79 defending and 76 heading. Um, he has got the high defensive work rate and a medium attacking meaning he'll be staying up like staying in the back quite a lot and and you only pay 350 coins for him, so why not like pay for someone who's good and you're paying nothing for? In the right back position, I use Abate. He's got the perfect link with um, the Bonera, and he's got 93 pace, 73 defending, and 74 heading. I liked Abate because he got down a wing quite a lot. He's got an assist, and that's probably because he was crossing it into the box quite a lot. He's so good at breaking away from that midfield player trying to catch up with him, but they can't deal with it. He's got a bit of strength from him as well, and on the other side of the pitch I use Schmelzer. His card looks quite bad but overall was actually a really good player. He got like down the line as well and he's got 78 pace, 70 dribbling, 78 defending and 72 heading. Um, he has got the medium work rates and he seems to work down that line quite a lot and his tackle is good really as well. Um, he tracks back quite a lot and he stops quite a lot of counter attacks as well. We've got some clips here. We've got a Barbo through and goal and it's a nice save first of all from Neuer and then he gets up and manages to save it and he pushes it over over the bar. I like that save quite a lot. It was like a two sa double save and there's another bicycle sa kick save and it's a double, double save. Neuer did that so often so that's why I'm including him in the clips and yeah he's one, He's definitely worth like the coins you're paying for and he's, like, he's there's a big margin between him and other keepers. We've got a break from them and it's Robin but we managed to save it by Bonera tackling and he did a good job overall. He did his job well. He tracked back and he also broke forward with his headers and he won quite a few headers from corners as well and I like Neuer's throwing and kicking and it seemed to start off quite a few moves and William got through but again the strength of my defence this time with Boateng was really good um, there's another save from Neuer there. I thought that I should include as many saves as possible because he's a, like a main feature with this team. Another clip here, they're on a counter-attack, there's three against like one and still we managed to save it with Abate this time and losing the ball again but it's breaking away moving on to the midfield now we've got Ozil he's like one of the most expensive players in this team you pay 76,000 coins for him I thought that his um, shooting te like technically was really good I liked his passing he sprayed balls all over the pitch with that 85 passing and he's got that 87 dribbling as well um, he has got the medium attacking work rate and he's got the 4 star skill moves which is helpful and he got 3 assists in the games which I played with him and he did take quite an active part in the game and if you want to try him out with like chipping he's really good at them and next to him I use Edison see again I used him for uh, like chemistry reasons but he's actually got a rocket shot on him his stats overall are really good he's got 83 dribbling 77 passing and 73 pace um, I paid 400 coins for him and I got a really nice goal with him even though it's a one goal in 11 games it still was a nice goal to beat the keeper and moving on to the centre attacking mid position I use Hernanes um, I liked Hernanes a lot he's one of the best midfielders I've used on FIFA 14. He has got the 5 star weak foot and the 4 star skill moves and I got 4 goals and 3 assists. Um, the 83 shooting and the 83 passing explains that and he's also got the 86 dribbling. I paid 2,300 coins for him so he's well worth those coins and yeah he's overall a really good player and I was going to use him in the centre mid position instead but I'm glad I chose a centre attacking mid position. We've got some tracking back from Ozil there and we've got a move onto attack and unfortunately it doesn't work out in the end but it shows how easy it is to do it 
and I like this corner technique and it's passed out to Hernandez who chests it and it's a really good finish into the bottom corner he seemed to do them all day long and yeah if you if you want to do that then you can or you could just cross it into Boateng or Bonera to head it and that, that's what I was saying about my centre mid that's a really good shot and it beat the keeper all ends up and here another like clip with Hernandez he's through and goal and he beats the keeper off the post a bit lucky but still it was a nice shot and he could beat the keeper from every angle because he's got the five star weak foot he can shoot with either foot with ease and we just intercept the ball there and Hernandez has got the ball and he controls it and it goes into the top right so yeah there's nothing wrong with that player he's maybe on a bit small side but he doesn't get that like on top of him as he is so good on the ball and we get luckily there with Ozil and that was his goal it was a nice finish in the end but I don't know how he wasn't offside maybe there was a player playing him on Ozil again on the ball we get it and he sprays the ball right in over and it's perfect into the path of the attacker and we do score from that and it was just all made from that ball from Ozil that just shows how good his passing is and he is one of the best passes of the ball I've used on V14 as well and look at this just ball control from Ozil three roulettes in a row then a heel tap and it's a cross into the box but we can't like um capitalise off that a chance. We've got the front three now. We've start off with left wing Podolski. He's got 81 pace, 87 shooting and 79 dribbling. He is um, 6 foot so he does win a bit in the air and I didn't actually get a goal or assist in the 11 games. He seemed to take quite an active part in the ball but um, his left foot isn't as overpowered as it was on FIFA 13 and I did think that um, he wasn't. He isn't as bad as the stats do say, but um, the right wing is be definitely better, and that is Jesus Navas. You pay twenty six thousand two hundred and fifty coins for him, but he got seven goals and five assists, and those seven goals were absolutely out of this world. He is quite small, and he does lose a ball off like strength, but he makes up with that for the skill moves. He's got the four star skill moves, and he's got ninety one pace as well as eighty six dribbling. I just found his right foot was so good, and the left foot I didn't use so much because he. Was cutting in but using the right foot still but in the striker position I use Negredo so he's got the perfect link with Navas and he's got the medium medium work rate and his left foot is so powerful I also liked his strength and he wins the ball in the air quite a lot he got five goals and four assists in 11 games and he was quite good the partnership between him and Navas was really good he's got 72 pace which isn't too bad because his strength and like shooting make up for him but we've got Negredo on the ball he cuts in and runs and runs and runs in finishes it past the keeper into the bottom corner and his finishing is really good I liked it and he's really clinical in the box um, we've got like an interception here from Negredo he does a nice ball into Jesus Navas and he just seems to like clip it under the keeper and into the goal and it was a nice finish in the end um, that wasn't the best of his goals of course we've got um, Hernandez on the ball he plays through to Negredo he like just did a nice finish with his right foot so his weak foot so I was trying his right foot quite a lot but then I moved on to his left and it was really good Hazus Navas through and goal and he's always going to fin finish that right to the, past the keeper keeper had no chance and his finishing is really good he's also really clinical in the box he doesn't win anything in the air but um, we've got Navas on the ball he crosses it in and it's a nice diving header from Negredo showing he's so good in a box he finishes almost everything and he's known for that basically um got Navas through here again and it's a great finish into the top corner really even though he like had no one on him he still managed to put a really nice finish and here's a pick of a lot we've got Navas on the ball he does a rainbow flick and then he flicks it past the defender who no Fernando who's a centre mid and he, that finish is just amazing I think it was Neuer in goal as well and he still managed to beat him it was one of the best goals I've actually scored recently and yeah I was really happy with that clip and we've got Navas again on the ball and look at this goal as well it goes so it's right in the top corner keeper had no chance and I think that was Neuer again so you're beating the, like, the best keeper on the game with shots which no keeper could save ever and there you go, there you go. clinical shooting from Negredo like he pounces on that chance like a tiger and he, he reminds me of that because he's so strengthy he does everything right and yeah Negredo just pulverising the defence and it's a good finish into like the left hand side of the goal so that shows that the, the like attacking players can score and um, you've got two of the best like Navas and Negredo and here we go that clip again and it is Navas who finishes it off it's a good finish past the keeper keeper had no chance right into the bottom corner and he's so pacey he ma makes like the most of every move and it's a good finish past the keeper again his shot's really powerful and accurate and that's what I like 
like about him so if you haven't tried him out already then why not go out and so if you're enjoying this video like so far then please give it a like rating I'd appreciate it a lot and Navas crosses it into the box unfortunately we can't make anything of it but um yeah that that just just shows you like how this midfield works and the attack. So I hope you enjoyed this squad builder. Um, it is this finished. It is in a 4-3-3 formation, which I liked a lot. I counter-attacked quite a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like rating and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed. So see you later.